Yo, it's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you did. That was one of the names I was going to bring up next, was Mac Dre. Like, what? when did you first meet him? What was the origin of your... My first introduction to Mac Dre, we was jumping them niggas, and they, and they was getting up out of there. <laughs> and so where did it take place? San Francisco, uh, downtown on Folsom Street, and a guy named J. Diggs. Let me tell y'all about that. Let me speak on... say well, this. are currently so, having some issues with, yeah? Yeah, J. Diggs act like he was there that night. Okay. He's telling the story about Mac Dre and them and Cool Nut and all these dudes at some concert. J. Diggs, you're lying, boy. At this situation, it was a party only. It was on Folsom Street, not Broadway. He wasn't there. But it was somebody there that when we start getting on Mac Dre and them, chased Mac Dre and them out of there. J. Diggs was not there. Somebody else, we chased him down, down the uh, street where it's a dead end. They in a minivan. But whoever that dude was who d hit with the bottle, he already had the car started up. So by the time we chasing Mac Dre and them down, down to the bottom of it, he's spinning the car around and whipped out that tech boy. Shout out to Mac Dre, RP Mac Dre. Shout out to the Crestside. Man, we seen that tech come out. Thank God he didn't shoot because we was close enough. He like, nigga, back up. Man, we start scattering because we figured they're going to shoot. And this anyway. was Mac Dre's friend. Mac Dre's friend. Right. But Mac Dre is in the van, though. Right. So that situation, I just always saluted him. You know, uh, that was my introduction. Right. But the JT, the bigger figure, so he has said some guy. Yeah, he another one, bro. That nigga off in Africa right now. At the end of the day, he he really just, just trying to keep his career alive, too. Like, he one of them ones that the only time he gets some views and some likes is when he bring up my name or Mac Dre name. <laughs> and tell you a wild story. Well, look, he got a famous story, though, where he say that he ran down on Mac Dre and, you know what I'm saying, they had the Uzis out and all this. And it, did you ever hear about this? Is, is it any truth to that story? He tells a story about what? Would you say that again? A story when he did what? Yeah, can you hear me? I think I'm in it. Major. I, I can hear you now. Yeah, I said he tells a story like how he had ran down on Mac Dre and he had the Uzis out and all this. And, nah, so, so the story he tell, not so the story he be telling, right? So I'm gonna tell you the story. So the story he be trying to tell when did he got all fucked up? Is a story about when we went to Filmo, when Dre before Dre even had a a, 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 a whole ass album out. It's beginning of Dre career. It's actually his first project. And we had a show in Filmo, and um. And we was maybe 18. And we go to the show. And the field, the uh, the show was um was Cool Nut, Rest in Peace Cool Nut, um Mac Dre was somebody else on that show. But long story short, so it was it was in the field mode area for the show. So everybody performed. And then Cool Nut and them got into it with the field mode niggas. So it was a big fight going on in the show. So us, our crew, it's probably about 10 of us. We all trying to get up out that motherfucker out there fight. So when we leave it to get out the show, uh, somebody yell out and uh, was like, man, who the hell, uh, who laughed at OCP? That's out of control projects. So that was the film mode niggas. So when that happened, they basically, they stole on one of my partners. It was like 10 of us. They stole on one of our partners. And they tried to get on us. And they tried to get on us and chase us to our cars. When we got to our cars. That Uzi he was talking about that whipped out. That wasn't Dre with that Uzi. Yeah, I flipped out on the niggas. Me, I was in the car with Kilo, Big Dot, my homeboy Ray Ray. At the end of the day, they thought they were finna jump us. They thought they were finna jump us. <laughs> and we whipped out. It didn't no shots get fired or none of this shit. It all went away. But this was, like I said, in Dre early, early days. So it was a true story. It happened. Oh, for sure, bro. But, that be but, but Dre, Dre, Dre didn't have no gun on him, though. But his niggas did. We did, for sure. And we ran them niggas up off of him. And that was, like I say, that was when Drake's first album, very first came out. That shit was early 90s. Like 91 or something when that shit happened. Well, Look, though, uh, let me ask you this, though. So, like, when it comes to JT, the bigger figure, I know, I think some of the things that all he do has said was some things that JT the big figure had came out his mouth and said on uh, social media. Yeah, he been you, trying. You to... want to address any of that? 
Yeah, that's all. You know, JT been trying to paint this narrative since, you know, it's just like me. Same shit. When we fell out, first thing a motherfucker gonna do is try to find the file of shit that they can find on somebody, you know? So, so JT started to bullshit with the rumors about about me and Kilo, which was Mac Dre's best friend. Uh, he started he started dropping this narrative in people's head that we might have been behind setting Mac Dre up to get Dre killed so we can take his estate and we took everything from his mom and his daughter. Like, you know, just the biggest bullshit that you could ever come up with. Like, but anybody that's been following this movement, they know. They already know what it is. They know Mac Dre mama run his estate. They know Mac Wanda is a boss. She got complete control over Dre everything. They know all we ever did was push this movement to the top. You know, and keep keep the cutty name alive. But that was some shit. The, the dude don't started. they have um yeah, yeah. And don't they got Mac Dre Day out there? Yeah, we got we got Mac Dre. As a matter of fact, July fifth, man. Um Mac Wanda, his mom, every year she got to deal with Live Nation. She throw one of the biggest concerts in the Bay every year. Every year. July fifth is in Frisco and we go crazy. All the artists come out. The artists that been around Dre from the beginning, which is you know, us and then we bring in some major artists and we throw a big show every year it's gonna be it's coming up july 5th his mom and his daughter throw that show every year and we just you know make sure it go good for 